Hey guys, Rob here. And I was, I've been thinking about uh, putting together a um, a uh, emergency toolkit for my truck. I I typically uh, don't carry anything in my truck uh, other than the jack and uh, you know the spare tires. What's in the truck? And uh, so I was recently, uh, actually, I recently ran out of gas because my fuel gauge doesn't work and uh, I've been putting off having that fixed because it's uh, had to pull the tank. Anyway, long story short is I've been thinking about putting together a emergency uh, truck kit just in case my something else was to happen to my truck other than uh, maybe running out of gas. Uh, so I've been looking at uh, different options and uh, I was looking at Lowe's online and actually found this... Uh, AWP, it's a maintenance tote. Uh, there's the product number on it right now. Uh, if you can find these at your Lowe's, uh, they're on clearance right now. This one was $8.98, uh, I think. And uh, But anyway, it's a, it's a nice uh, tote, stands up. I think that will fit you know, nicely behind the truck seat without taking up excessive room. Uh, I do have an extended cab truck that has the little short doors on it, so I think that will sit behind the truck seat just fine. And uh, anyway, I thought we would take a look at this bag and uh, see what it looks like, and then later on we'll uh, we'll work on putting this uh, kit together. And if you have any suggestions on you know what type of tools you should carry in a uh, you know an emergency tool kit. Uh, it's obvious these have been on the shelf for a long time because there's the dust that's uh, in the bottom of the bag. But inside the bag you have several pockets here. Uh, good size areas there to store bigger things. Uh, I intend to carry just basics with me. I have a, a uh, socket set there that I want to put in it. And a few other... Uh, you know, tools that you might need out on the road. So you have uh, three pockets on this side, one larger one and two smaller ones. And then you have these loops uh, all the way around. So you have loops pretty well all the way around the bag. And then on the back side, you have the same three pocket design. So this is pretty nice. You can put tools all the way around it. It does have a, the handle is sewn on. Looks to be well stitched, well made. Like I said, there is the inside of the tote. I don't know if you can see a picture of it there. But anyway, looks like a kind of a hard, hard type case. It's not. It's reinforced with something, so it will stand up. The dividers are fairly stiff. You know, just a for eight dollars and ninety eight cents. I think this will make a. A nice little uh, roadside emergency bag um, but like I said I just want to put a few essentials on it that might get me off the side of the road if I got stuck um, you know a few sockets uh, some wrenches maybe um, just uh, odds and end things that you know you might need uh, your battery not working you have to clean your battery cables or something you know I'm not looking to rebuild a vehicle on the side of the road, just uh, some tools to have with me, you know, just, just in case. So anyway, guys, I thought uh, that's a, a quick look at the uh, AWP uh, maintenance bag. And it says it's wide op or open, upright design for easy access, multiple interior and exterior tool pockets and slots, fixed handle for easy carrying. And uh, like I said, there is the part number, so if you want to pick one of these up at Lowe's while they still have them. Um, my Lowe's had two or three of these left. Uh, they've been on clearance, so like I said, $8. Uh, I was going to buy the little $4 uh, cobalt bags they have on there right now, 12, uh, 12 inch uh, tool bag cobalt. That's $5. And they're just a basic little 12 inch zipper bag and had three little pockets on the front. And uh, I seen this, you know, this was about $4 more. 
and a much more substantial um, case, in my opinion, or box. Uh, but like I said, that's going to get thrown behind the truck seat, and uh, hopefully the things that are in it, I'll never have to use them. Uh, I hope not to have to break down and use uh, anything out of it. So anyway, guys, that's just a quick, short video of the AWP uh, maintenance tote from Lowe's. And uh, like I said, they're clearancing out all the AWP stuff to bring in newer stuff. They had a, a really nice 18 inch bag, but it was, it was a pretty good size bag uh, for $19, which I, I almost bought, but I really don't want to pack that many tools in the, uh, behind my truck seat, just enough to, you know, get me out of a pinch. So anyway, guys, chime in and, uh, you know, tell me uh, some things that you should carry in your uh, truck emergency, vehicle emergency uh, toolkit. Uh, things like I plan on putting in is some wrenches, a uh, socket set. Like I said, I have a, uh, a small socket set I'm going to put in there. Uh, some plier, pliers and some, you know, channel locks, uh, uh, screwdrivers, uh, you know, just some... Uh, basics to uh, get you out of a pinch so if you have any ideas chime in there tell me what you'd put in yours and until the next video uh, we'll see you later thanks for watching